The Exabeam Security Operations Platform applies AI and automation to security operations workflows for a holistic approach to combating cyber threats, delivering the most effective threat detection investigation response. The key features of the platform encompass industry-leading analytics, accelerated security operations at scale, security outcomes mapping, and flexible deployment options. Today, we're going to walk through all of the features of the platform. Correlation rules. Correlation rules compare incoming events with predefined relationships to identify and escalate anomalies and flag high-risk activity. Within this application, you can write, test, and publish, and even monitor custom correlation rules for your most critical business credentials, devices, and include uh, criticality based on threat intelligence services. You do not have to create all the alerts yourself. Exabeam has prepackaged correlation rules for you to get started. However, for this particular example, let's create a new correlation rule. Let's base this correlation rule on existing events that we have within the platform. In this case, Okta activity type. App activity. And a result of failure. So any failed logons based on Okta MFA. We can test this particular rule, but I'm going to go ahead and go to next. I have the ability to create a case within Threat Center, but also send an email to specific recipients such as my SOC team. As I click on next, I can define a rule name, set, a, set it against a specific use case trigger, and even, even MITRE TTPs if I so wish. I can set the threshold and the criticality and save that rule. Collectors. Collectors collect data from hundreds of products from on-premise logs to cloud-delivered security products, SaaS applications, and cloud infrastructures. There are three types of collectors, cloud collectors, site collectors, and context collectors. Collectors collect data from over 200 on-premise products, 34 cloud-delivered security products, 11 SaaS productivity applications, and 21 cloud infrastructure products. Logstream. Logstream delivers rapid log ingestion processing at a sustained rate of over 2 million EPS. A central console enables you to visualize, create, deploy, and monitor passes within a unified ingestion pipeline for all Exabeam products and features. As it is ingested, data is passed using over 10,000 pre-built log passes and, and enriched with various context collectors from open source and commercial threat intelligence feeds. Logstream also includes Livetail. Livetail provides self-service real-time monitoring and management of past performance and visibility into the data pipeline. Parser Overview provides insight into existing parsers with the ability to edit or customize an existing parser, create a new parser and publish it, and review parser health overall. Outcomes Navigator. Outcomes Navigator maps the feeds that come into our products against the most common security use cases and suggests ways to improve coverage. 
It supports measurable continuous improvement focus on outcomes by recommending information, event stream and passing configuration changes to close any gaps. On the main screen, you can see the current security coverage and suggested outcomes. We can also pivot over to the MITRE attack coverage. Back on the main screen, we can select any use case, review the detections based on that use case, and also the past fields by log source type. In addition, by clicking on recommendations, we can start to review events that we can improve upon for further security coverage. Automation management. Automation management combines security orchestration, automation and response with pre-built playbooks and a no-code playbook editor to decrease the time needed to resolve security incidents. Within this view, you can automatically set the priority of alerts, escalate an alert to a case based on the risk score, triage cases into default queues, and create cases when a specific condition is met. Let's create a sample playbook. We'll base this playbook on data loss, and set it to create a case on certain conditions. In this case, based on use case, data exfiltration and data leak. Assign it to a specific queue to admin, and also use the webhook feature to send this information to an external ticketing system using our webhook settings. Service health and consumption. Service health and consumption helps you visualize your service health for every service and application, as well as data consumption, while monitoring your connections and sources. Service health and consumption provides a dashboard showing uptime and health of all your logs and log passes, applications, data flows, connections, as well as your total license volume consumption to help with long-term storage and capacity planning. Search. The search application allows a simplified search experience with faster query and instant results of a petabyte scale and or years of data. You can search both hot and cold data at the same speed. Existing features include a wizard view where we have already filtered vendors and event types for you to build your query, an advanced view so you can write the query manually, and also an introduction of a new feature for natural language questioning. So for example, in this case, you may want to question to show all the top 10 products in the last month. This not only builds a query, but filters a timeline ready for your search. This feature not only helps users speed up forensic investigations, it also helps upskill users to the search query language but most importantly, it helps new analysts start to query an environment more easily and more holistically. Threat Center. The key goal of Threat Center is to be a unified workbench for threat detections and to be the primary starting point for investigations and response. Detections can come from the correlation engine, the anomaly detection engine, or third party alerts. And we're automatically grouping these detections based on our detection grouping rules to surface up relevant threats. 
Cases can be created manually or automatically. An analyst may review an alert and escalate it to a case for further investigation. Or a playbook can be created to manually escalate alerts that meet its conditions. Because we understand that Threat Center also encompasses anomaly detection rules, we have a default playbook that automatically escalates an alert to a case when an entity reaches 90 points of risk. Let's review some of the alerts. This is not only where you'll see individual alerts or correlation rule triggers. You could also see entities that have not become notable but could have up to 89 points of risk. And if they cross that threshold, i.e. 90, it'll become a case automatically. We also have the ability to group alerts. In this case, a source IP address. When we're reviewing a possible data exfiltration incident, we can see the various triggers or detections against this specific external IP address. This is a powerful feature that allows us to group detections holistically based upon the source, which in turn allows us to understand the full scope of the threat. Let's go back to our cases. I can also use a powerful search feature to see what cases are assigned to me over the last 30 days. Let's review one of these cases. I can click this link to understand how the risk score was created. In this case, 11 detections based on 10 anomaly detections on anomaly engine and one correlation rule trigger. I can also see the event entities involved in this entire incident, as well as mappings against MITRE, while most importantly, mappings to use cases that may be of importance to me and my organization. On the right hand side, we have Leverage AI Copilot, which gives us a detailed summary of the possible threat indicators of this case and the remediation steps that we can take. We can also directly interact with the actual AI by clicking on the AI Copilot here. Scrolling down, we can see all of the detections that trigger this risk score. At any point in time, I can open search to review the forensic logs. I can also pivot over to our behavioral analytics platform to understand the full chronological timeline of events. One thing to note here is that each detection is described in natural language for us to review quickly and respond quicker. I can add attachments as evidence, I can review the history of changes to the particular case and add my own notes as I progress in this investigation. And finally, I may wish to send the event to a ticket to buy a webhook or send an email to a member of my team uh, via the integration here. Dashboards. This is where users of the Exabeam security operations platform can visualize data according to their role, requirements, and also understand trends and risks within the organization. The dashboard application includes prepackaged dashboards as well as the ability to customize and create your own based on your requirements using 14 different chart types. The dashboards help visualize activity, spot anomalies, and focus the analyst's attention immediately to key areas of interest. An example dashboard using the search facility that is out of the box is the Exabeam's SOC Overview Dashboard. This allows you to view cases and threats alike 